Hello YouTube family. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Imani and you are watching Faith by Design. Today I'll be doing a quarter two update for my savings challenges and some of my sinking funds. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, please keep watching. update for our savings we haven't done one of these since March so because it's the end of quarter two actually now we're in July but I wanted to go ahead and film the qu quarterly two update for our savings I am at a different setup so hopefully you all can see I'm in my kitchen and hopefully the lighting is not too bad but let's just go ahead and get started because it's hot in here Y'all, my AC unit has not been working properly and it's an old unit, so we're probably gonna have to get it fixed. So I just wanted to let you all know. Yeah, so we're gonna make this quick and um, let me stop rambling so we can count this money. Okay, so for senior year, I know it's in this binder. We don't have anything. I think I retired it to the back. I don't even know how much I ended up putting in for May. I don't think I was actually keeping track of it. It was more so just cash flowing towards the end because we had a lot of expenses and didn't really get started as early as we'd like to. So this one is definitely zero, but if you have a senior or will be having a senior in the future, I do recommend you getting started, getting started pretty early so that way the funds can really build up and you can really save as much as you can because it's pretty expensive or at least it was for us but so we have some time before our youngest daughter becomes a senior and also i was looking at you know whether it's eighth grade graduation from middle school senior year of high school it's never too late to start saving so uh next up is the one thousand dollar challenge and that's Skylar. She says, hello. You want to say hi? Go ahead, say hi. Hi. Okay, so next up, we, we're just counting money, Skylar, to see how much we save between April, May, and June. So at the start of April, I think we saved $1,301.36. In May, we saved $1,802.98. And in June, we'll get those numbers in just a second. But the $1,000 savings, it will be in this binder here. And I believe that is our $1,000 savings challenge that we use to build up our emergency fund, which is gonna come in handy since we do have to get our unit replaced soon. But in the meantime, let's see how much we are saving in this envelope from this challenge 50 70 90 110 130 150 170 190 210 230 250 270 290 310 330 340 so we should have about $355 in the high yield savings account, if my math is correct. So if not, I'll just go ahead, put the right amount off camera, but I counted $355. And with interest, it's gonna be a completely different number. So I'll flash the actual amount across the screen. So let's see, Larry, this was the challenge that I'm doing with Skylar. So we're using some of this to go towards her savings and some of this to go towards Christmas. I'm not sure exactly how much, but once we finish the challenge, I'll decide. So let's see, we ended May at 153 and I also forgot to add $24 from my last video to this envelope. So let's just see how much we have here. We have 50, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 161, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So we have 171. So we have 171 
plus if we add the $24 that we were supposed to take out, I just haven't been to the bank yet. I'm really notorious about procrastinating when it comes to the bank, but I promise after we add the $24, we will have $195. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write that in here. That's how much we're supposed to have. All right, so self-care, we didn't do, I don't think we have anything, but let's just see, I think it's in this binder. Self-care has $20 in it. Yep, I didn't do a challenge this time around, so it has 20. All right, so let's see. $700 is for car maintenance. So for, let's see. And we did have to start it back with red to show where we left off. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So we're at $80 again. No, so, okay, so it looks like we got up to 120 in May and then we took it out. That's why we have 120 in green and then we started again, so we have 80. So we're back to where we started pretty much from the beginning of quarter two. So $80. All right, health. Leave a comment below if you have calculated your savings for quarter two, or you may do it monthly. Some people do the monthly check-ins, but how much have you saved so far? Are you saving as much as you thought you would have saved, or were you surprised at how much you saved? Let me know down below. I would love to hear about your savings goals as well. Okay, so health. I think it's pretty much the same because we have fallen all the way off <laughs> on our health journey. Yep, $21. So I started keeping track of this back in January. For quarter two, I didn't do so well. We kind of fell off back in probably at the end of March, but we are gonna get back in, on track. Uh, I have walked a little bit here and there, didn't really exercise too much um, in my, you know, using the app, but I will be really starting to keep track of it better we're gonna say in August since we are already in mid-July as I'm filming this, but we're gonna go ahead and try to start again in August. The kids will be going back to school and hopefully I'll find time again to really hit it hard and you know save more for health. Gifts. I believe is, is it here actually? The gifts is here too. Hmm. Okay, I think we did add money to it. It looks like we added about $20 in June, but then we ended up taking it out. So we'll just say zero. I don't really care to track how much we put into that because that kind of comes and goes as we need it. Okay, Skylar Savings. That is, um, I think it's pretty much the same. It's in this binder here. This binder is from Dawn Funding Magita Jones. She has uh, saved about $100 from the last challenge we did. And at the end of completing the Larry challenge, I'll add to this binder. But let's just see, I think it's pretty much the same. So we have $100 placeholder that is in the bank and then $11. So 111 and we did get interest. So I will probably show you what the interest is across the screen. But for now, I'll just write 111 here and the cents will probably be a little different. Okay, clothing, I think it's here. I don't think we have much for clothing. Clothing, nope, nothing in clothing. Okay, car maintenance, nothing in car maintenance because that was depleted when we used uh, the funds for the tires, birthday. 
Yep, nothing here. We did add about one, no. So for the month of June, we had $50 in it, and then we had 120, so we had about 170 in birthdays, but then we ended up using it, so yeah, zero. I needed to make a better spreadsheet so that way you see the difference from what was added versus what was taken out. That will probably give me a more accurate picture. So, Christmas. Christmas, we are getting the ball rolling with this one. We just kind of started picking that back up. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110. So let me know how your Christmas savings is going. Ideally, I would like to save about $1,000 for Christmas, but yeah, we'll see. I do split the Christmas cost up between what my husband saves and what I save. I would like to save $1,000. So we're just gonna keep one plugging away to see how much we can save before the year uh, gets ahead of us. 100 envelope challenge. So that is, oh, thank you, <laughs> Skylar. Thank you, you're so sweet. It's been odd that you did those in a while. Oh, can you say it nice and loud? I don't know if they heard you. What this is, is it? This is for all the YouTubers in the world all of the youtubers in the world and those watching our channel and yeah if you're here we love you and skylar loves you too right yep she wanted to make you this heart yay thank you okay for the 100 envelope challenge actually let's go back up to skylar savings i am looking at my computer now so i can see exactly how much is in there so with the 111 111 36 is how much we have, but for the 100 envelope challenge, we are at $1,422.07. And we received for, just in the month of June alone, we received about $4.16 in interest for the month of June and about $3.30 for May. So, that's where we are. We're making great progress for home maintenance. This is our lovely home binder that I love so much. All right, so for the home maintenance, we have $15 here. I'm not gonna count it because it's written right on my tracker. For repairs, we have $45. I believe. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Yep, 45 in repairs. I believe this should be accurate because we just filmed a video. Decor is zero, reno is 45 as well. Utilities is 15. Trying to get a month ahead on our utilities. Household is 30. And furniture is, wow, is that right? 45? Okay, hold on. I do have to count this because I don't remember it being this much. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Yep, yeah, that's right. Wow. Okay. 45 in furniture. Okay, so let's go ahead and count it up and see how much we have saved in these sinking funds and savings challenges alone. I did also want to add that for the month of April, I did open up a 401k IRA, I believe that's how you say it, because I started a new part-time job and they gave us the opportunity to open up uh, a 401k Roth. And I didn't really know what that meant other than I know what a Roth IRA is, but I guess it's similar based on your employer. 
but they contribute about 6% match to what you contribute, I believe. And so I opened it up in April and at the end of June, it already has about 500, I think 80 something dollars. And so I was amazed at that. I'm gonna flash it across the screen if I decide to, because I do wanna start tracking this since it's pretty new. I don't really share my retirement account that I have um, with you, but I do share what I owe from the loan. Um, if you haven't checked out the last video in my debt confession update, it's in there. But I do want to start tracking this newer account since it's kind of fun to see how much growth we'll achieve just alone because I was amazed that already I have $500 from just those three months of quarter two at the end of June. So yeah, I'm going to flash it across the screen and then try to keep track of it with these quarterly updates. Now it probably will fizzle out because this is a seasonal part-time. So between July, August, September, it's kind of our slower months. So I may not have much of a paycheck, we'll see. But yeah, I think it's interesting just to see how much it grows over time because investing is also important. And once I pay off, you know, once we pay off some of the debts that we have now, we kind of want to tackle the um, investing side more so but yeah I'll keep you posted on that and let's go ahead and add up these senior these sinking funds and savings okay so we have Okay, so we have saved, I'm running out of space here, $2,513.24 by the end of June, quarter two. So that is a difference from May of $710.26. That's pretty good. So we're just gonna keep saving as much as we can. We will have to dip into our emergency fund that we have been saving for outside of this here, but that's okay. Saving funds are to spend, save for and to spend over time. And so I'm not too worried about the fact that we have to now dip into our emergency fund. It just gives me more awareness that we will have to continue to be mindful that saving for those things are very important and they take priority over all the other things that we could save for. So we're gonna definitely be hitting it hard as far as savings for quarter three and for debt pay off. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you all have done a great job saving for your goals as well. And I hope you all will stick around and stay a part of this journey with me. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. You all take care, be blessed, stay safe, and keep accomplishing your goals. That's my dog right here. So, so we are done. You all have a great rest of the week and a great weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.